Hey my friend, happy Thursday. Emily here coming to you on Thoughtful Thursday. Um, my goal is to hopefully share a little bit about um, my journey and clarity and hopefully, maybe, just maybe, connect, motivate, and inspire, educate you in some small way to help you to move forward in your business. So my question today that I put in the title is, do you have clarity in your business because you need to know the who, what, why, when, where, how, all of that in your business. And the reality is, and how many of you can relate, is that maybe we have the who and the what, but maybe we're missing the how. Or maybe we have the why, but we're missing the who and the why, right? We have part of it, but we don't have the whole thing. And then we wonder why we're flailing to move forward and we feel stuck, right? Because I would say that's probably one of the top three things that people share is that they get stuck in their business. They're just not sure how to move forward, especially when you're building online. Where do you get the answers to all of these? There's so much information out there that we don't often know what to do or how to solve those problems, right? So today I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about on Thoughtful Thursday because be careful what you think, right? Because thoughts run your life. This is a Proverbs and it's so true in your business. It's true in your life, but it is so true in your business. What thoughts are you thinking? Because what you think about your business is literally the direction that you're taking your business, whether that's unconsciously or consciously. I believe there's levels of clarity in your business that you can find. So for instance, in my journey, you know, I've had different entrepreneurship and I may understand what business I'm getting into and I understand uh, maybe what problem that I'm solving, but I have maybe struggled in the how, right? The how to. I don't know if any of you guys can relate, but when I first got into network marketing, um, the how was very clear in the beginning, right? I was told to make a list of friends and family and then check them off. But once I had done that, uh, the clarity got less and less and less because I got stuck. I was still unsure of the how. What was the next step for me? I just wasn't sure. So a lot of times when you're starting a biz, you might be missing the how to. And I love the phrase, you know, you know, paint the plane while you're flying or whatever. But sometimes this is tricky and sometimes you crash. I'm not gonna lie. Like ask anybody that's been in any sort of business. Sometimes you do well, sometimes you don't do well, right? Sometimes you're super organized and sometimes you end up with piles of receipts in the back like that one. So, you know, I had this big idea of what I wanted my business to look like and I just was really unsure of the next step. So you have to break it down into actionable items because I talk to a lot of business owners that say, you know, oh, I want to do this and I want to do this. And they have these grand ideas, which are amazing. But the reality is, is if you can't break those down and solve the who, what, why, when, where, how, then the actionable items are not going to become clear. And that next step is not going to become clear and you end up going nowhere. Um, what's the saying? How do you eat an elephant? And the answer is one bite at a time. That is a terrible analogy, but it does get the point across, right? Like we have these grand ideas for our business and what we want it to look like and all the people that we want to help and the, these big, you know, grandiose ideas. But if we don't break those down into smaller actionable items that we feel like we have control or clarity over, then the reality is those things are probably never going to happen. So the clarity is also your peace of mind because in the very beginning, I think I thought if I just spin my wheels and work hard enough that this will happen. Well, okay, I seem to be saying a lot of phrases today, but work smarter, not harder. Uh, I was working harder. Um, I was like, oh, it's a numbers game. I just have to do this. But they were the wrong numbers and it didn't work for me. So I had no actionable step, no actionable leadership, no mentor to say, okay, well, this is what you need to do. So I had no one to break down those. I knew the possibilities. I understood the vision of what this could be, um, that it was endless, but, but I failed to take it into the clarity. Um, so, and I struggled big time. So I determined where was online for me and that felt very authentic and real for me, but I struggled with the how to, and I was desperately looking for someone that fit my how, 
right? Like I was like, okay, so I'm not finding it here. So I'm going to have to branch out. And it was great because I was open to looking for that missing piece that I determined that I was missing. Uh, it opened a whole nother world for me, right? So, you know, I still was following the actionable items that I was told, but at the same time, I was like, I identified what I wanted my business to look like, the how, and obtaining those skills to get there. So one thing at a time. Um, so anyway, for me, the online space when I first started was let's just throw my stuff out there and let's hope that something sticks. Can you relate? I feel like a lot, 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 lot of people can relate to that because they're like, well, you know, I threw a curiosity post and I'm using attraction marketing. I just don't understand why no one's like, why I'm hearing crickets and I, and <laughs> I can usually now, right? No better, do better. I'm like, oh, I know exactly why you didn't, right? Um, but it's not just in network marketing or those who are building small businesses online. I, I saw a local business that I worked with. Um, they were looking for a new employee and um, I was going to take them after the next step. So after they had gotten the employee, I was going to do the actionable items to get that employee started. So I kept asking, well, they said, well, we've been posting and they were posting in very general places, right? But the reality was no one looked there anymore. So they weren't really relevant. Um, it wasn't really specific in what they were saying. So their marketing was a little bit off. They didn't really quite niche, in my opinion, to their target market. Um, they didn't follow up. So there was no continuance on that. Um, and so they didn't get anyone. It's the same when you're throwing stuff out there. If you don't get specific about who you're looking for, what you solve, what you need, what you offer, and a lot of people like, oh, oh, it's kind of a little bit of a pet peeve. It's like, I don't care about your product. What does it do? And it's like, instead of storytelling and telling exactly maybe where it would resonate with me, they're just posting a, a picture of their product. Like that is so ineffective. You should never, in my opinion, post a picture of your product and not even tell a story that goes with it, right? It is just very, 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 very ineffective because people are used to it and they're not gonna see it and they're not gonna pay attention and then it's not, it's, you're not following up. How, are you, how do you know? You're like, well, I got someone, one person that asked me, okay, but you put this out there and you've got 5,000 Facebook friends or 2,000 Facebook friends and you had one person so if you're in business and you put it out there to two to 5,000 people and one person says they might be interested, is that really effective marketing? The answer is no. So you're probably not hitting your target market. So what skills would you need to probably change? You would probably need to learn new skill sets into how to share your stuff so that people would be interested and people that are looking for that solution, you help them to solve it. You're not just throwing spaghetti on the wall and hoping that something sticks. You're not specific enough. And then you have to follow up with people. That is a reality. Um, some people are really good at following up. Some people literally hammer the same 30 people over and over and over again. And then all these other people that may have been an option, they let fall through the cracks, right? Because they're not organized. They don't know the actionable steps. Um, like I said, in the very beginning, I worked really hard, not smart. Um, and I always, my brain was always turned on and I found it exhausting. I was constantly looking for new people because that's the number one problem in this business, in small businesses. And it, it just, it doesn't bring clarity because you're constantly feeling like you're frantically, like desperately looking and you want to build a big business, but you're only limited to the amount of time that you can connect with people throughout your life. And I kept thinking like, so I, did, so I went and put myself in new opportunities, new groups, new meetups, new gyms, new this, new that, right? And it was, I mean, was it effective? Maybe a little bit, not so much. And my thing was, well, what about all the people that are building, that are working full time still? Because that, that used to be me when I first started. And it's like, they're seeing the same people over and over and over and over and over again. So how do you put your stuff in front of new people? How do you build that? And when I gained clarity to that, that was the biggest game changer for me because clarity brings peace of mind. I'm able to sit down to do my work, do it effectively, not the odds of one in two to 5,000, feel like I'm making a difference, 
sharing my story effectively of whatever it is that I'm sharing or marketing or getting out there and then following up with those people. But then at the end of the day, I'm still a mompreneur. I'm gonna put my work down and I'm gonna go hang out with my family and I'm not gonna allow those thoughts to bring uncertainness or anxiety or a feeling of overwhelm or stuck because I know exactly what I'm doing and I trust the process, right? If you're a parent and you, you know, maybe you and your spouse have figured out, you know, how you want to raise your kids. You don't look at them at age two or three when they're throwing temper tantrums and go, oh my God, we're complete. <laughs> Actually, you probably do do that. <laughs> I did. I was like, oh my God, we're completely failing. But you kind of trust the process. You trust that they, will, that they will learn and that they will move on. And then we expect faster results in our business. The reality is, is if you have a content strategy for moving you forward and however you choose to build, you have to trust the process that it does take time to do this. And um, the reality for me was I just needed the peace of mind being able to put that down and at the end of the day know that what I was doing was working. Where before it was all work and this chaotic frame of mind of I don't know if what I'm doing is working. And so, you know, money doesn't help. Or <laughs> I mean money helps too, right? It's like clarity brings peace of mind, but it also brings money, right? It's effective. You're looking at what you're doing and instead of throwing it all out, like instead of throwing the baby out with the, with the bath water, you're looking at it going, okay, well, what is working? What isn't working and what can I tweak or can I change? And having a mentor to sit next to you and like have eyes on your business to look at every single actionable step is vital. And for me, it was probably the biggest missing piece that I was missing was someone to literally have eyes on my business. Because when you own your own business, yes, you're responsible for it, but even my mentor's mentor has a mentor mentor, right? I mean, you need someone to objectionally look at it and go, what are you doing? Like that, how did that work for you? Yeah, not so good. How did that align with you? How did that feel, you know? So you have to solve the who, the what, the when, the why, and the how. So for me, I learned peace of mind. I learned not to compare, right? Because there's people out there crushing it, but the reality is you can't gauge their 30 minutes that they did on the years that it took them to learn it, right? I'm gonna find that quote and put it in here because it was really good. Because you know, you might charge someone for what you know now, but it took you years to get to where you learned that, right? And when I started building online, I have a tech coach and my excuse for the longest time was like I was so um, uh, overwhelmed, um, intimidated. I was intimidated by building online and I love it. I love hate it when they tell me like, oh, it's so easy. You just go here and here and here and here and here. But I'm like, but you have to know how to go here, 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 here and here, right? That is where one, a coach is vital because otherwise it would have taken me all of this time to get to there. So find someone that already knows how to do that. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, that was easy. Okay. Next time I forgot. Um, excuse me. I need you to show me this again. Oh, it's easy. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. Do I beat myself up for not knowing that? No, that's their specialty, right? I've been a personal trainer for years, certified personal trainer. You pay me for my, for what my, my knowledge is, what I know, right? Uh, don't pay someone just because of how they look. Maybe, especially if they're in their 20s, right? Maybe it's just genetic, they haven't had to work at it yet. Um, you pay someone for what they know. And so it's the same for that. Um, so you have to, uh, I lost my train of thought, I digress, I went off on that. Don't compare, that was my point, don't compare. Don't compare your, your journey to someone else's journey. Maybe they came in with more knowledge. Maybe they came in with more influence or more people or whatever. You have to literally like keep your head down, trust your own process. So for me, it was learning the training modules. My mentor brought me all these modules. I went through every single one and I understood from the very beginning that literally my road did not begin until I sat down and went through the modules. The module was like, what do I offer? What product or service do I offer? Who is it for? It is not for everyone, and that is such a misconception. Not everyone is gonna be interested in your stuff, and that is okay. And it is not your job to convince them, or follow them around, or hound them, or hassle them. I don't care how close 
in your family or friend circle that they are. They know where you are and when they're ready, they will come back. Doesn't mean that you have to continue to follow them around. And that was a big thing for me, to become the hunted instead of the hunter. And whew, that brings a clarity and peace of mind that no Facebook Live could convey. Um, the how, that was a big one that I was missing. I literally got to the point where I was like, if I have to do one more mindset training, I'm going to scream. I am tired of reading self-help books because I am a network marketer. Just show me the brass and tacks of how. So the reality was the beginning of the brass and tacks is the mindset, but not in the mindset of these grand scope of things. It was, what do you do? I struggled with this for so long. I'm like, well, do I say my company? Do I say network marketing? Or do I say what I do? So then I would say what I did, right? What problem that I solved? And then that's evolved. So your clarity sometimes can change and grow with you and that's totally okay. But that was one that I really struggled with. The how do I find these people? So okay, I've identified my target market and my ideal prospect, but if I can't go find those people and build a following of those people, then that's not going to help me. I have to be able to put myself in front of them. So if you have, let's say, a health and wellness or a skincare or whatever company, if you're not building, if you're building online and you're not finding new people to put in that pool all the time, if you think about it, if you made your list of 100 friends and family, but you only, like level one in the first 24 to 48 hours for us was building 100 people on, on, your, on your Facebook page, on your business page, not your personal page. And that's your storefront. That was literally level one. Like, hey, this is what I need you to do. I need you to think about your brand, what five things you stand for. Like, you know, we went through the training module, the mindset for that. Like, who are you? What do you stand for? What do you do? What do you share? Create this, go find people that would be interested in you, add them in here, and immediately, bam, you've got more than 100 people. And that's your storefront. That is your online storefront. Either your business page if you're just starting, or your blog or whatever, somewhere where you're collecting your people, right? The clarity of that, I did not have when I first started. That's what a mentor helped me with, right? I went through those training modules. I went through the how, who, what, why, how, whatever, right? Then why? Why am I helping them? What, what am I offering? What, why should they trust me? People get on, if you're building online, people wanna know what's in it for them. So that's why people offer freebies because you're like, okay, well, something is exchanged, right? Maybe they give you their email or um, what, whatever, like whatever it is, but you offer something of value to them. And that is how you start to build that trust, right? You offer a, almost like a peace offering, right? Which is nice in a world full of people still out there. Hey, here's my link, here's my link, here's my link, here's my link. I get them every single day, every single day on LinkedIn. I got, a, I got one that said, um, hey, here's uh, great to connect with you, blah, 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 blah. Here's my link. I'm thinking, I don't know who you are, what you do, and I am not interested in this. Now, if that same person had come to me and said, hey, I checked it out. Maybe they spent a little bit of time here. Here is, this might be able to help you with blah, 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 blah that I noticed. I might be like, okay, cool. I'll check it out. And then you build that relationship from there. It doesn't necessarily mean that it happens overnight. You still have to build that, that trust factor on there. So that's your why. Um, and then when, when are you going to create results? Because there's a lot of people that have been building a business, especially in network marketing, and they've been in too long and they're just totally stuck and they don't even know what to do. They're not even working anymore. Any good habits that they've had, um, they almost need to hit the reset button, which is totally fine, right? Like that is an advantage of being able to do that, but you have to create some sort of urgency. And again, that's what mentors really help you do. They help motivate you, but then create that deadline. Like, okay, you know, I have a sideline buddy and her and I talk every freaking day. Like, okay, what are you gonna do? All right, I'm gonna get my content out. I'm gonna run a new um, lights campaign. I'm gonna, I'm building a new funnel. I'm gonna finish one of my pages or whatever, right? So now what it looks totally different than that chaotic mindset of the unclarity about what it was that I was going to do. Now it's more like, okay, add people constantly, um, you know, add value and content whenever possible constantly. Um, what offers do you, do you have? What freebies do you have? What ads are you running? Are you running a lights campaign? Are you building a funnel? You know, all of these things. Um, but you have to do them in order. And a lot of people don't do them in order. And that's important. And in the very beginning, I was so overloaded with like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna do this? I'm in this long term. 
but I don't know where to start. That's where someone holding your hand coming next to you go, okay, well, this is what you do first and this is what you do. And then the, otherwise you're going to lose money. And it's so funny. People are like, I don't want to pay a mentor. I don't want to pay, you know, I just, they have this like really scarcity mindset and then they wonder why they don't make any money. But then if you turn around, they're spending all kinds of money flailing around instead of spending the intentional money of how that steps. So then you're like, well, I don't even know who to trust. There's everybody. I would say look for a, a complete roadmap, A to Z. Because if someone's only offering you part of it or part of it or part of it or part of it, um, and they don't have an actual game plan for the whole thing, that's not helpful, right? It's like giving you one of the missing puzzle pieces. You're like, oh, gee, thanks, but I still don't have my puzzle together because I'm missing all of these other pieces. In my opinion, I didn't want to have to go find all the missing pieces. I wanted the whole puzzle and I wanted someone to hand me one piece at a time in the order that I needed it. Here's the corner pieces. Here's the edge of the puzzle. Here's the corner over here. Here's the corner over here. Here's Now, if you've ever built a puzzle, the middle doesn't always matter. But does it matter if you get the corners? Yes. Does it matter if you get the foundation in order? Yes. Then you start putting those missing pieces in the middle. And that is probably the best analogy I've come up with today because you need someone to hold your hand and show you the order that you need to find the answers to these clarity questions, who, what, when, where, why, and how, right? You have to gain the clarity about you, your brand. Your brand is you, right? You have to answer those mental clarity questions before you even start. Then it's your biz, then taking you step by step by step by step of clarity to get you there. So I hope you guys found that um, helpful today. That certainly was my intent. Um, if you know someone that maybe needs a little bit more clarity on answering those questions, like, comment, share. I'd love to hear what you're struggling with. Um, not that I love to hear that you struggle, but I had someone ask me yesterday and she said, I'm really stuck. And I said, well, you know, let's talk. Let's, and sometimes that's all you need. You just need to kind of like talk it through, right? And it's as supportive as maybe your spouse is. Mine certainly is. He does not understand my business or the actual steps. I think my daughter understands a little bit better than he does. She always helps me with the tech stuff sometimes. So that's helpful. But um, anyway, sometimes it just helps to gain through those. So don't be afraid to reach out. That's certainly what I'm here for, um, to help the next person gain some clarity coming behind me. Um, I would have given anything for someone to share with me. And I certainly was so appreciative when I got there. So um, I'd love to hear from you. Let's connect. You can do this. Get that clarity and let's crush it. Have a good day, you guys.